Estoy loco por ti. What's up guys? Welcome to another video. I'm Lori if you're new here. So I haven't done a taste test in a while and I'm so excited because I actually just bought these today. I just saw them in the store. So they're actually um, broccoli wings, I guess. So there's actually, the company is Holy Veggie. And there's Kung Pao broccoli. But these look freaking amazing. Oh, so the other thing is, not only are they vegan, obviously, but they're gluten-free. And a lot of times, you know, the deep fried yumminess usually has flour, right? So this is why I'm super excited to try these. And obviously they're soy free too, which is awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna actually try, obviously I can't eat three packages. So I'm gonna put a little bit of each one so we can do a taste test to see the difference. So here's the butter, uh, the uh, buffalo cauliflower. And I got these in Sobeys, um, which is a Canadian chain grocery store. And the last one, ranch, which is very hard to find ranch things that don't have milk or whey in them to make them vegan. So, and these obviously you can see at the top here, it says vegan, gluten-free, soy-free. I just love the packaging. And they were only $7.99 each, which I think is pretty good. It's 375 grams. Panko style cauliflower snack with a creamy ranch dip. Oh my God, that means it's gonna be crispy. So I just wanna open them up and see. Okay, so this is how much you get in each one. So, Probably, um, yeah, I could make all three if my husband was gonna have some. He's actually not home right now, but um, but I don't know if my son's gonna want any. But anyways, I'm just gonna try a couple. I'm gonna put it on a plate and show you what they look like at the end. Okay, so I'm still using parchment paper, and I'll just tell you why, because I'm trying to be more health or like environment conscious. I did actually purchase the um, reusable, washable, like parchment paper, I guess baking sheets they're called. Um, but then my husband made chicken wings because my husband's not vegan. So he made chicken wings on them and I could not get the grease off these things. I'm telling you, it was so hard to wash. I threw it out. So I'm thinking I might attempt them again and maybe just color coordinate them and be like, okay, or just tell him he can use the parchment paper because he doesn't cook as much as I do. Um, so anyways, I'm going to give them another attempt. But So that's why I am using these still. And I did buy a package like at Costco. So you know, it's like the life lifetime membership. So it's like... We haven't gone through it yet, so, but I am gonna get those sheets. All right, so look it up close. These look freaking delish. I'm just gonna put a couple on each, each flavor, so we'll put the ranch here. It looks like they're very easy to recognize that they're different. <laughs> All right, so I'll put a couple of each. Okay, so that's the ranch, and then we got the buffalo. This is actually probably gonna be my favorite, just because it's got some, oh. Okay, so I guess I missed that in the first one. Okay, so this is the only difference between the two packages. Obviously, the actual cauliflower bites look exactly the same. It's just two different dressings, so that's okay. So it doesn't really matter, I guess, but the other one will be looking more epic. Of course, I had to pick the big one. Yeah, my, my son might have some. I'm actually, I think my husband's gonna walk in just as they're ready. So, and this one is the Kung Pao broccoli. See, I'm getting my veggie on, just in a deep fried manner. <laughs> okay, so this actually, I could probably just put them all back in one package, so they save space. Oh, and this is the sauce for the Kung Pao. Funny, it doesn't look like that color sauce when you look at this. <laughs> but anyways, that's okay. And here's the difference between the barbecue and the Kung Pao. But anyways, the Kung Pao is lighter. All right, so I'm just gonna stick them all in here. Okay, so I'm gonna just tell you how um, to put them at 425 Fahrenheit. And it says cook them, bake them for 23 to 25 minutes, flipping halfway. So I'll just tell you what the calories are. Probably about the same between the three. It's just sauce, really, that makes the difference. All right, so you know what? I actually like the fact that it says, for the calories, it says for six pieces, which is their suggested serving, six pieces, 140 calories, six grams of fat, zero grams of cholesterol, because cholesterol only comes from eating animal products. So all these three products are vegan, hence there's no cholesterol. Um, Obviously, there's sodium because it's some kind of deep fried goodness, 230 milligrams of sodium, and one gram of fiber, 
a little bit of sugar, one gram, and protein is two grams. For a quarter pouch with the sauce, it tells you also. So the sauce is 15 calories if you eat a quarter of it. One gram of fat and zero grams cholesterol, obviously. Sodium, 140. So yeah, when you add the two, it's definitely... But you know what? If you go to a restaurant, obviously this is better than a restaurant, right? So anyways, let's try this out. So just spread it on a pan, just like normal, and uh, don't let them touch pretty much. And I'll show you when they're ready. Um, you just have to put the frozen packs into a, a bowl of hot water just while it's cooking and then that way it can uh, defrost or thaw out the sauce. So um, I'm just gonna use a little bit because I still have so much more of the packaging in there. Okay, so here's what they look like. All crispy. Okay, so I'm just going to, I mean you could toss them in a bowl with the sauce. I'm just gonna dip it. So I'm gonna try the um, I'm going to try the buffalo one because I feel like it's the most common. Okay, so I'm going to try this one. It's probably piping hot. Mmm. These are so good. They taste, they do taste like a wing actually. And look inside it actually, you can't even tell it's a cauliflower. It kind of looks just like a piece of chicken. I think I would actually probably um, prefer to toss it in a bowl. Mmm, so good. Okay, so I'm going to try the ranch now. So the ranch doesn't really taste like ranch. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It doesn't look as oily. It's that one there. Jaden, you going to try one? Sure. On camera? So. My teenager is going to try some. These are cauliflower bites. There's three different dips. Buffalo, ranch, and kung pao. Goes with the broccoli. Which one are you going to try? Which one's that? Um, that's kung pao. What's that? Ranch. That's the one I just tried. That's good. I was just saying that um, to me it doesn't really taste like a normal ranch. Done. No, it tastes not as not as oily, right? It's like yeah. um, I don't know. But this one, I'm excited. The broccoli with the kung pao. Oh, good though. Yeah, you want another? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. This is the best one. O M G. This kung pao with the broccoli is like a tempura kind of like um thing. What? Oh. I'm not interested in the video, am I? This is actually vegan spaghetti I made two days ago with Light Life ground beef, by the way. You can see um, these are definitely good. I'm going to finish the rest of them here. Um, so I would definitely, I mean, for me, the ranch one. What are you guys doing? So you do like them. Really? Shall I scrunch down? Hi, Mom. Okay, are you guys done? They're quiet in the house until I turn the camera on. You guys want to do a song and dance or anything or no? Anyways, if I were you, I would probably skip the ranch one and I would try the other ones. So I would probably recommend the Buffalo or this Kung Pao one. This was amazing. The ranch one, not really my jam, but you know, maybe you can try it. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a like if you liked the video. Or if you want to come and rescue me from these two crazy people, these two guys. Stay out. And now they're doing some kind of drama show. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and until next time, live your life with kindness for all living beings. Take care, bye.